Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's session of Trails to Tasting. And we're going to be using here these rose hips. And these rose hips are packed with all sorts of amazing nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, magnesium, all sorts of good stuff. And the cool thing is, again, these are an invasive species. This is from a multiflora rose. We can find rose hips on any garden variety rose. And the hips are just these, these fruits here that the roses leave after they've been pollinated and lose their petals. These fruits have the seeds inside that then spread tremendously. And these invasive roses still are packed with nutrients. So it's wonderful to be able to reduce the amount of seeds that are being spread by all the various birds that enjoy eating it we're reducing the spread and we're getting some nice yummies out of it. They do have a slightly tart sort of flavor, but let's figure out how to identify, other than real quick seeing these little red guys, how to identify a rose hip. Rose hips have these little red kind of balls on the end of the stems. And each of the little round balls has kind of a brownish sort of tip. And that tip right there is where those petals kind of fall off after the flower is done with its life cycle. So we can see here, there's a couple of different hips on the ends of these stems here. They may vary in color and be a dark purple or a bright more reddish orange depending on your flower variety but for the multiflora rose which is the rose that we are going to use the uh, invasive wild species can be found in any forest almost they're crazy they're going to be more of a brick red the multiflora rose stems can vary in color from a greenish color to a red to a brown, depending on how young or old the growth is. So you can see as we get closer here, it's a little more red in color versus the newer growth that's protruding is green. They also have these thorns or the prickles on them. So as you are picking careful. Here we can see the very last of the foliage for the multiflora rose. We can see that they come in alternate arranged foliage and are a thorny stemmed plant, a deep green matte colored leaf with toothed margins. Fill up your bowl or your container with these rose hips and we will steep them to create our simple syrup. All right, we have our ingredients. We have our rose hip simple syrup. We have lime juice. We have our cranberry juice. And most importantly, the vodka. So let's get started. We're going to in a shaker with ice, put two ounces of vodka. One ounce of lime. One ounce of cranberry. an ounce of our simple syrup. And this is our rose hip simple syrup that I made with the rose hips that we harvested earlier. And now give it a nice good shake. Whoa, it exploded. Oh. And straight into your glass. Mmm, so pretty. And then top it with a sprig of rosemary. Oh, that does it. Yes. Cheers. Whoa, so full. 
Ooh, fruity and tart. Oh, that is really good. This is great for a holiday punch bowl too. Oh, it's so good. Just don't get that rosemary up your nose. It's big and it's pointy. Thank you so much for watching this Trails Tasting with our Rose Hip Blush Cocktail. I hope that you have enjoyed it and you can always visit www.theartofecology.com or visit my Patreon for more foraging yummy goodness, especially in time for the holiday season. Enjoy! Oh, so good. <laughs>